the flooding. In the South Valley, Tulare County families who had their homes damaged by rising waters now have more help. Action News South Valley reporter Eliza Navarro explains how the new debris removal program works and how people feel about the support. Tulare County has received about 800 property damage reports and officials tell me that's one way of figuring out exactly where they'll have to go to pick up debris throughout the county. Several communities in Tulare County experience flooding throughout their homes. Families say they've done their best to clean up and save what they can, but many lost everything. It, it's even more sad when you have to see your kids and they ask for their stuff and you have to tell them that it's gone. Saida Velasquez says she had to throw out everything from her Woodlake home, furniture, her stove, clothes, and more. She placed the piles of debris from her home outside, and she says volunteers with the city picked it up. Recently, the county launched the debris removal program also to help families. Velasquez says it was a relief for someone to help her and says she's glad a program will help her neighbors in the county. It's a big relief because now we don't have to worry about um, throwing going um, and getting a truck to throw stuff out. The county will help cities that need support, but say they plan to go to areas like Allensworth and Alpog. A pickup date has yet to be set, but officials are asking families to prepare by following specific guidelines, like placing items in an area that will not cause traffic and separating them into different piles. Construction debris, like when you're having to take out drywall or tearing up a carpet, that would be one pile. And then uh, vegetation, if trees have come down or shrubbery or whatever, that could be another pile. And then also we want to make sure people take um, their hazard, household hazardous waste. So, you know, those are like the chemicals or fertilizers. If you have specific questions, you're encouraged to call the flood hotline. Now, once a pickup date is set, it'll be posted on the county's website and social media. In Tulare County, Eliza Navarro, ABC 30 Action News.